guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all doing really really super well so in today's video i am going to be doing another b m bargains haul so i told you guys in my previous video um that i was going to b m and we went today and we spent so much money we spent about 90 pound in b m um which for me it's quite good but that basically just shows how much stuff we bought today and how big this haul is going to be so i cannot wait to show you guys everything that i picked up also i just want to say thank you for all the love and support and i really hope you all enjoyed the previous video that um i uploaded on sunday which is the bean boozled challenge with connell I really, really enjoyed that video and watching it back just, I don't know, it gave, gave me like fuzzy feels. I, I really, really loved filming that video and Connell was really pleased with it as well. We watched it back last night on our telly and we were laughing and oh god, it was just, it's one of those videos that's just such a feel good video. Like, I know watching yourself back is sometimes a little bit weird but I think the fact that it was like both of us in the video it just made it all the more special and we just laughed and giggled the entire way through so i really hope you guys enjoyed that video because we thoroughly enjoyed filming it for you guys so if you haven't checked that out i will link it in the description box of this video so yeah we have three massive bags full like actual like fabric bags um full of stuff from b&m so yeah get straight into the b&m bargains haul i absolutely love filming b&m bargains hauls i just think they're the best like i'm in that shop and i just feel so happy and just like i don't know i just love looking at like loads of stuff i mean i had intentions of like you know buying a few bits but i didn't expect to spend 90 pound so yeah <laughs> but i got some really 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 lovely bits i got a few bits for presents and just a few bits that we needed just like bits for the cupboard and whatever so i'm gonna get straight onto it and yeah run through everything that we picked up in b and bargains today so there's no particular order I don't think. I've got this bag up first because this is mainly like food and just like random bits and bobs so I thought I'd do that one first because it's a little bit boring just to get it out of the way. So the first thing that I picked up was actually I'm hoping the people that I've bought for won't watch this video um, but I can't imagine they will so we should be okay but yeah so the first thing that i picked up was some flameless led lights tea lights so i'm not going to go too much into it but this is basically to go with a present that i bought for somebody um so yeah i might not wrap these up i might just give them after i've given like the the actual main present but yeah i didn't want to give them the present without these in it so it kind of indicates kind of what i've bought for somebody but those are the tea lights, so I wanted to pick some of those up because I know B&M always stock those. So I picked those up. The next things I've got, so in the top of the box here, oh, the lighting, there we go. So in the top of the box here, I have just got a body polisher. So I think Connell picked up one as well, but it must be in the bottom of the bag um, because I can't see it anywhere. So I got a pink one. These are two for one pound fifty. They are actually quite good. They're better than the normal sort of like body puffs, but they don't last very long. You know, they're cheap and cheerful, and they do fall apart after a while. So you do you do have to replace them after a bit. But I got another one of those. Connor also got another one, like I say, but I think it's in the bottom of the bag. The next thing that we picked up or connell picked up was peanut m m's he absolutely loved these loves these i think they're his favorite sweets ever so he picked up another bag of those i think he always he always picks up treats when he goes into b&m <laughs> he also bought some biscuits as well i've never actually had these so 
yeah i can't recall ever having them I, I remember like i remember as a kid like seeing them in supermarkets and stuff but i don't think i've ever had one so he picked up a massive 18 pack of mcvitie's gold bars which i don't actually know what are they crunchy biscuit bars with a unique gold coating okay so that's what he picked up so i'm guessing they're for his lunch boxes and stuff during the week i don't i don't know we have also got we always always pick up packets of super noodles every time we're going to b&m they're just really really cheap and cheerful and yeah it's the first aisle you come to on the in the b&m that we go to so it's kind of hard not to pick them up plus we were running low anyway so i think he actually got two packets yeah he did he got two packets of the curry flavor because they are our current favorite and then he also picked up a chicken flavor as well so again i, I mention it in pretty much every video but we like to have them in the cupboard for just like a quick and easy dinner or lunch or whatever they got to have with toast in flatbreads with fish fingers they're just they're really you know handy to have in the cupboard aren't they so i got those and then we also needed another salt grinder so i also picked up a salt grinder as well we have we seem to have loads of pepper but no salt so yeah we picked up another one of those that was about 69p i think um i apologize if some of the items i don't remember the prices for there is that much here that i physically couldn't tell you how much everything is but i know this was about 69p and these were about 49p each so yeah that was really good and i think the gold bars were about a pound or something so you know they're not expensive everyone knows b&m is really cheap anyway so i got a salt very exciting like i say i'm going through the really boring stuff first because this is just food and just bits and bobs so we have to go through the boring stuff first don't we connell got a salad cream this was on offer for one pound 50 one pound 99 something like that but it's huge it's quite a big one um and he didn't have any salad cream so he's picked himself some up clearly so that's that one and what's next oh there is the other shower polisher shower puff thing that connell got there we go it will not it's never a b&m haul unless i pick up some skinny whips so i don't know i can't remember if i mentioned it in the last video but i have tried all the flavors and i i don't like i don't like the dark mint one absolutely hate that the orange is okay i can eat them but i would never repurchase them so this is kind of the only flavor that i actually really like and i would go back to but these are so so nice they're like if you've never had skinny whips from b and I, I recommend you pick up a box because they are really really lovely uh essentially what these ones are is they're a bit like nougat nugget nougat um they're a little bit so, like they're really really chewy but they are it's kind of hard to explain they're like a tough milky way basically like a chewy milky way they are really really lovely though and they're only about i don't know 95p a box a pound a box so yeah you only actually get five bars in them and they're only 99 calories but i take them to work with me and i have them sort of like mid-morning so i'll have my breakfast and stuff at home with connell before i leave for work and then i'll sort of have one of these about i don't know 10 11 ish um and then i'll have my like i'll go actually for my proper lunch break about one o'clock but it just it's just a nice in-between snack so i always have some of them in the cupboard connor also got some crispies so these are looking a bit thin <laughs> but he picked up some salt and vinegar squares so yeah i haven't had squares in a long time like i haven't had squares in years so yeah i'm looking forward to having a packet of those I'm going to have a huge pile <laughs> of stuff when I'm done filming this all. So the next thing we got, these were actually 2 99 it says on the packet. So he bought some lint rollers because for some reason, 
all of his dark clothes like especially his black jeans are just covered in fluff so he picks them up i mean we needed some anyway because we didn't have any had to chuck the other ones that we had like ages ago because they just fell apart they was just really cheap but yeah i didn't think this was that bad for 2.99 i mean you do get three of them in there and each roll has got 40 sheets on it so yeah it'll last you a while so we got some lint rollers we also got some bits for some doggies in our family for christmas so i haven't actually got my dog that much for christmas i have actually got her one other thing that is going to be in this haul but it's in another bag but i bought her we went to sainsbury's a couple of days ago and i bought her some um like doggy friendly like proper like you know made for dogs mince pies and i remember buying them for her last year this is my family dog by the way my family dog kita she's 15 and i remember buying these mince pies for her last year and she absolutely loved them and i saw them again in sainsbury's the other day and i thought i'll pick them up and i'll get them because she really liked them another thing that i always get for kita every time i go to b m or home bargains or all the cheap places poundland even even do them they are the scooby snacks for meaty hot dogs so they're basically like doggy friendly hot dogs i mean i think i think dogs can eat normal hot dogs anyway i'm sure they can um but yeah these are basically like especially for dogs so i got one for kita because she absolutely loves them so they will go in her little christmas packet and i'll wrap them up and next door actually have a dog our next door neighbors have a dog as well so we wanted to pick up a couple of bits for him as well the dog's name is alfie next door so we wanted to get alfie a couple of bits i did actually have a look at the toys in b&m like the dog toys but they didn't have a great sort of range sometimes they do sometimes they don't so i might just like have a look around or whatever or these might do i might just like get a little something else to go with them but yeah, I also picked up a packet of Scooby Snacks for Alfie. And then I also got these because I always remember Keita being really, really fussy. Well, she still is fussy with um, dog treats. And the, one of the go-to brands that Keita always liked is Misfits. So I'm not sure that Keita would enjoy these, but I'm pretty sure Alfie would love these. All of these. So they are the Misfits Twistos with beef. So they're basically just like those little like i don't know yeah hard to explain but yeah they're basically dog treats <laughs> but yeah we picked up a packet of those for alfie because we we've kind of we've got them we've got them next door like a present and then we've obviously because they've got a little boy a seven year old little boy so we've obviously bought him something as well and we thought well i couldn't personally give presents to them and not get something for the dog like i'm such a dog lover like we have to include the dog don't we so yeah i picked those up for the doggies in the family so or friends and then connell picked up a smart puree not sure why but i'm guessing he's thinking of making a chili or a spaghetti bolognese potentially so we picked up one of those i think it was only about 39p or something really cheap so yeah they're all right to put in the fridge we also got some mini marshmallows because we picked up some hot chocolate to have like cozy hot chocolates and marshmallows and whipped cream and oh everything like that and we didn't have any mini marshmallows we have like massive massive ones which i'm gonna save till next year so i can like put them on the bonfire and have like toasted marshmallows that'll be nice but yeah we didn't have any mini ones for hot chocolate so i picked up a packet of those just to just to keep in the cupboard we also got a, another febreze evolution refill this is the same one that we had last time i'm pretty sure i had this in my haul in my last b&m haul as well this is the frosted pine scent i've actually bought a another air freshener with this same scent so yeah i picked that up absolutely love this scent it is so so nice and they are really really good they're really really strong and they last forever but i just got a backup just in case because you never know when they're gonna run out do you so yeah 
Connor also picked up a packet of enchanted eggs. I think these are actually for my stocking, I think. Um, I might be wrong, but yeah, he knows I like enchanted eggs, so he must have picked me up a packet of those, either to have whenever or to put in my stocking. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he said they were for me. So that's cute. <laughs> and then the last thing in this bag is some adhesive gift labels so the reason why i bought these i'll put that back on the floor the reason why i bought these was because in my last b&m haul i purchased some gift tags but putting them on presents the other day when i like the other evening when we were wrapping presents it was really awkward like you'd stick them on and they've got like a sticky pad at the back but it's sort of raised so when you go to write on it when it's stuck on the present like your writing is just a bit skew if and it just looks a bit weird but yeah i thought i'd get these um i like them so i thought that i'd get them while i seen them and if i don't use them till next year then i'm not entirely like i'm not gonna worry about it um but it's basically just a massive roll they're only a pound i think um but yeah it's basically just like a massive roll of just like adhesive labels so if it's going to focus there we go so it's got like loads of different sort of patterns um with like different labels and stuff on but i just thought for like some presents that like wouldn't stick a proper lit like a proper nice label on i just thought they'd be nice um and obviously they're really easy to write on as well because they're basically just a sticker so i got them don't really know why I, mi I might use them this year i might not i mean most of my presents are actually wrapped this year so yeah i might not get a chance to use them this year but i just thought they were cute like for a pound i just thought they were really cute so i picked those up right we have our next bag they're all in like mixy matchy bags because i basically just grabbed like my shopping bag collection and just took it with me but yes on to the next bag so the first thing i've got in this bag is more snacks <laughs> it is a packet of uh are they tangy cheese tangy cheese doritos so i think we plan to have some nachos tonight and watch a film so connell's actually cooking a soup in the slow cooker but because we did it we prepared it a little bit late because we forgot about it before we left this morning then I, that i don't think it's going to be ready sort of tea time so i think we're not going to we're probably not going to be able to have that soup till like seven eight tonight so when we get back because we're actually going to go to his parents house this evening and see his mum and dad um I thought that I would well I think Coral wanted these because he wanted to make nachos so yeah we got those but even if we don't make nachos I love Doritos and I could snack on them all day so yeah they're always great to have in the cupboard aren't they right the next thing I've got is some microfiber cloths now I'm really weird there's something about microfiber that is like i'm weird with like different textures of stuff like i can't touch cotton wool balls because they have like a weird feeling and i'm the same with microfiber cloths however i have been going through kitchen roll like there's no tomorrow like we because i know a lot of people buy cheap kitchen roll but i cannot buy cheap kitchen roll like ever since i can remember my mum's always bought plenty right and i tried with the cheap kitchen roll and it's just not the same so if you're a bit of a snob like me and you buy expensive kitchen roll then you will know how expensive it is to keep bulk buying it because there's no point in buying like one or two rolls if i'm gonna get a pack of plenty i buy like a pack of eight and it lasts me like a good month or so whatever over a month i would have said but i always use kitchen roll for cleaning the sides like obviously i'll like like i'll use my antibacterial spray and i'll like clean the sides or i'll clean mirrors with it or i'll clean surfaces 
and I thought I'd get some microfiber cloths so essentially what I'm going to do with these I'm guessing like what most people do is there's a turquoise one there's a cream one there's a pink one and there's a gray one I'm essentially going to keep I'm going to have one color for each room so obviously I'll probably keep the green one for the bathroom um pink one for the bedroom gray one for the kitchen whatever and just keep using these and then I can just chuck them in the washing machine and just wash them and they'll be so much easier and better for the environment for one than using rolls and rolls and rolls of kitchen roll and having to replace it because even though the kitchen roll is great it is quite expensive plenty if you buy plenty kitchen roll like the brand plenty you will know how expensive it is so I thought instead of just using that to wipe the sides every time I'm going to get microfiber cloths also I've heard that microfiber cloths are actually better to use when cleaning glass like mirrors and things um, because I actually use glass cleaner with kitchen roll and even though it works fine I don't find a problem with it necessarily I've heard so many great things about buffing it in with a microfiber cloth same with your oven the glass on your oven I've heard is better with a microfiber cloth also so I thought I'd get this pack this is just the Addis mesh microfiber cloths and it was only £2.50 for four which I thought was decent Addis is a decent brand so I thought I'd pick these up so that was a long-winded story but thought I'd tell you the next thing that I picked up was some baking paper so we have been using baking paper on our old baking trays we had really really disgusting tatty baking trays and I've actually bought some baking trays as well in the other bag so I'll show you them in a second but we've just been using baking paper for ages and it's just really really handy isn't it like when you want to bang something in the oven and it's not necessarily messy like for instance we put some pan of chocolate in the oven this morning but we just put a little bit of baking paper underneath it so I didn't need to like properly wash the baking tray it just kind of keeps it from you know going greasy or whatever so I just thought I'd pick another one of those up that was the reason behind that but we use it all the time it's really useful obviously I use it for baking I use it for like just cooking in general and it's just good for loads of different things so we picked one of those up and that was only a pound for like 10 meters so you can't complain at that the next thing that I got were some Rennies. I have been really, really struggling recently with acid reflux or heartburn. Not sure why. I've been having it most nights and I've been in like really, really, I've been in agony with it basically. It's, it's really agonising. <laughs> Anybody that's had heartburn or um, acid reflux will know it is extremely uncomfortable, especially when it gets really, really bad. And I had, I've got some Gaviscon tablets in my bedside table drawer, but they just don't work. I just, I don't know what it is. They just don't work. And I know a lot of people rave about Rennie's. So I just thought I'd get them just to put in the medicine cupboard in case I, you know, need them for whatever reason. I mean, I have had two nights where I've not had any heartburn. So fingers crossed it stays that way. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I, I don't know whether you know I've eaten something or changed something different in my diet but from what I can remember I've not changed anything drastically so I'm not entirely sure what the reason is that I'm just random I've randomly started having heartburn every evening but yeah they're always good to have in the cupboard aren't they so yeah and they were only like £2.50 for 48 tablets so yeah at least I know I've got them um if I need them so yeah that's the Rennies the next, thing, the next thing that I picked up was, I actually got a present for one of my friends. I'm not going to say who, um, but I got a little present for one of my friends. And it's a little gift set of the So fragrances, like the little mini body sprays. I mean, who remembers these? Who remembers being in school and having these in your PE bag and just spraying them after PE? Like, I'm kind of gutted that I didn't get myself a packet of these because, a box of these, because these will probably smell so, like, it will probably take me back to my childhood. Like, I can't believe they still sell these, I'll be honest. So, which ones have I got? 
I've got So Kiss Me, So Exclusive, So Sinful and just the original. So, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is going to be one of the stocking filler presents for one of my friends. So I really hope they like that present. The next thing that I got was a massive uh, bubble bath. So I've taken to enjoying bubble baths recently. Don't know why, I've never been a bath person ever. But recently, especially been in, been, since living in my own house, I have definitely been enjoying baths more. And yeah, I've been taking time in the evening to like do a proper nice skincare routine. And yeah, just chill in the bath and watch some YouTube. Like that has been my like go-to evening at the minute so i wanted to get a bubble bath because i've run out of some and i needed to get some more basically they didn't have a massive range in b&m but i don't tend to spend a lot on that kind of thing and again i've heard a lot of a lot about the muscle soak radox and also i've used it and it is amazing so yeah it was a one liter bottle so i just thought i'd get it and yeah it'll last me quite a while anyway so this is the muscle soak one with sage and sea minerals it's really really nice it smells amazing uh yeah it's really bubbly and i think it were about 90p 99p i mean really super affordable for the size of it so i thought i'd get that so that's my muscle soak bubble bath for when i next have a little bath the next thing i picked up was some coffee pods so don't know if i've told you i might have done my mum has bought me a coffee machine for my christmas this year she asked me what i wanted and i said a coffee machine not like a really expensive like um nespresso one or do you know what i mean not like a really fancy one i've just got a really basic dolce gusto one so i wanted to get some pods and stock up on some pods because i know when i get it on christmas i'm gonna want to try it straight away so i thought i'd stock up on a few different variations of pods so when we went to sainsbury's the other day i picked up some i think they were the starbucks caramel macchiato ones so i picked up some of those connell actually bought me those like as a christmas present to go along with the machine and then i also picked these ones up as well from b&m these were fairly like inexpensive as well i think they were about 2.99 three pound they weren't expensive at all so these are the mars hot chocolate pods so i thought i'd get these to try i've never actually had these but well i've never had a mars hot chocolate but i thought i'd get them to try um because when you've got a coffee machine that is compatible with hot chocolate pods who is gonna want to put a sachet in a mug and make just like an instant hot chocolate like you're gonna want to make it in your coffee machine aren't you so i thought i'd get these to try connell really wanted these we were torn between the mars ones or the nest quick hot chocolate pods but i thought i'd get the mars because i think they'll be a lot creamier so i've got those ones and like i say they weren't expensive i think they're about three pound for how many did you get in there eight uh yeah eight pods i mean that that's not loads but yeah how often are you going to have a hot chocolate you're not going to have a hot chocolate very often are you so yeah and then i also got these ones these are like the official dolce gusto pods um and i got the latte macchiato so essentially it's just like a creamy a creamy latte so i cannot wait to get my coffee machine on christmas and try these out so yeah i'm definitely getting old before my time if i'm 23 years old and i'm asking for a damn coffee machine i'm definitely getting old before my time but i didn't really want anything this year like i i didn't have anything in mind that i really really wanted so but i have wanted a coffee machine for a long long time so yeah my mum's very very luckily bought me one and I'm, I'm so so grateful because they can be quite expensive but we got like a really good deal uh i think it was on amazon for it i think it 
I can't remember the exact coffee machine we bought but it's one of the smaller ones and I think it ended up being £30 down from like 60 or 55 so I thought that was a really good deal personally. So yeah, B&M are a great place to buy pods and things like that because they can be really expensive in supermarkets so if you're ever in B&M bargains or places like that stock up on these if you have a coffee machine because they are so much better value for money in places like B&M. The next thing that I picked up, I'm getting like cramp in my legs, like I'm sat cross-legged and I'm getting cramp in my legs <laughs> because it's taking, this is a big haul so if you're still watching then congratulations because this is a long video. So anyway, the next couple of bits that I got were some more Astonish sort of and uh, disinfectant is it? Yeah, concentrated disinfectant. So I love Sephora, I think it's brilliant, but you can't get massive bottles of uh, Sephora and they can be quite expensive for like, you know, if you buy them in bulk. So I've mentioned this before, I've mentioned um, Astonish before in previous B&M videos and I swear by it. This is my absolute favourite one, it's the Peach Blossom, I just think it is so freaking nice, it smells so good, like I use it for everything, I use it to like steam, like steam my cleaning cloths in the sink, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, I put it down the toilet, I put it down plug, like down the bath plug and the sink plug and everything I just I use it for everything I use it in spray mops in my spray mop yeah it has so many uses this so if you haven't used a concentrated disinfectant it doesn't matter what brand yeah just please try it out because yeah it is beautiful I mean I haven't actually tried any of the other scents from Astonish but this one I just love so much because it just smells like sweets it's the peach blossom so if you see this in B&M pick it up because it is incredible it's so nice so i got two more of those i do actually have another full bottle in there but i thought i'll stock up because i use it for everything i mean it lasts a long time but i thought the more i've got the better and then the last thing in this bag is something again for my friend um so it's an alphabet jewelry box so it has got an n on it so potentially the person that is going to receive this as a gift might watch this i'm hoping she doesn't but yeah potentially she might i'm not too sure but i just saw it and i thought it was hella cute so i have actually got one that i bought myself like ages ago from where did i buy it from oliver bonus i bought mine from it's like a pink one but i just thought this sort of um like tiffany green color went absolutely beautiful and yeah i'm sure she's gonna love this so it's it's basically the exact same layout as mine so it's basically like a little velvet or suede jewelry box and i just think it is so beautiful just to keep your jewelry in and yeah it's just hella cute isn't it like when you're traveling or like just to put it on your dressing table or whatever like it's just such a cute little gift and yeah i was lucky enough to get my friend's initial on it so yeah i picked that up for her and i can't remember how much that was but i think it was about the five pound mark but i thought that was really good because i thought it looked really expensive so i really really love that so that is for my friend and then the last oh this bag is the heaviest thing ever <laughs> this bag is so heavy so the last bag that I've got is quite bulky bits. So we've only got a few more bits to go now. So hang in there, guys. So the next thing that I got was some Unstoppables. We needed some more of these. I think B&M is the best place ever for cleaning products. I just think they're great. I will not buy anything like this from supermarkets because they're so overpriced and you get so much more for your money in, B in places like B&M so I always wait till I go to B&M and just stock up on these excuse me so these are the Unstoppables in scent in wash scent booster in dreams so oh they're so nice they are so nice if you've never used these in your wash then try them give them a go they are so so nice they make your washing just smell 10 times nicer for longer I know 
they say that in the advert and you know it is a bit cheesy to say but it is so true they can be quite expensive like i say if you don't buy them from budget places but they really really do make a difference to your washing so if you're like getting old before your time like me and you like things like this then yeah pick these up if you haven't tried them already because they're fab so that's those and then oh i also got some for my bath evenings when i treat myself i wanted to get some epsom salt so i managed to get a big packet of these i think this were about 1.99 or something really really good value for money because these can be really expensive um but i picked up the west lab reviving epsom salts for it to help helps relax aching muscles so i got a big pack of those because i haven't actually ever used bath salts so i thought i'd give these a go because i always like something in my bath so a mixture between this and the muscle soak these and the muscle soak will be a fab bath so i'm hoping anyway i'm so sad i'm literally so sad but yeah got those for next time i have a bath the next couple of things I got were some comforts. Now, I don't actually use uh, fabric conditioners in my washing. I use the pods, like the three-in-one pods. I've actually bought like a bulk pack here. I'll show you in a second. But I was torn between these two scents. So I got the Comfort Creations. Well, they're both Comfort Creations, actually. So I got the Water Lily and Lime, which is stunning. It's really, really nice. So I got that and then I seen in, who was it? Oh, I can't remember her name. Her name's Charlotte, I can't remember her surname. But I will link her channel in the description because she is fab. Um, she recommended, or she bought this off of a recommendation that, that someone sent her. And it's the Comfort Creations Frosted Pine and Apple so i picked this one up because i just thought if you're gonna wash your clothes in the winter then you need like in the festive time then you need to have a festive fabric conditioner do you not like why not so this smells really really nice it doesn't smell too christmasy but it definitely smells wintry and like just warm and cozy so i picked that up use it in my crease for lisa bottle and make like my own version so you basically just mix this with a little bit of water and then like thoroughly like mix it together like shake it together and yeah you've got your very own crease for lisa so yeah that's a good idea if you don't want to keep buying the bottles reuse the bottle and just buy a hella massive thing of comfort i mean even though it's lenore and i've got comfort it's still the same thing it's still a fabric conditioner so it makes no odds so yeah i can't wait to use that <laughs> so i'm so i'm so excited i'm just so excited i can't bear so that is that and then i also to go with bought a massive pack of the all-in-one bold lenore softener Three in one pods so i actually bought well i used to buy the cardboard boxes that were three boxes for 10 pound this was nine pound 49 and it worked out roughly the same they didn't have any boxes like any of the three pack boxes but they had this and this has got 63 pods in it so this is gonna last a hell of a long time so yeah and i thought with it being a bag it's a little bit easy to store as well so yeah i picked that one up and this is in the scent sparkling bloom and yellow poppy so got those for my washing and then we've only got two more things guys we're nearly there we are nearly there the other thing that i got like i said previously in the video was some new baking trays i picked these up they weren't they didn't have loads of like great baking trays but they had this set which was five pound for three which i thought was quite decent i mean they they didn't look that cheap so i'm hoping that they last a little bit longer than our other ones because our other ones are ruined like they need binning but yeah pick those up because you always need baking trays don't you necessity and then the last thing that i got oh also febreze air mist in the frosted pine like i said earlier i bought another one 
and the last thing that I picked up and I wanted to save this till last because this is just so cute um basically my mum has ordered my dog Keita um a new bed so instead of having like a cheap dog bed we basically bought her like a dog mattress off of Amazon it was £40 so it was quite expensive but it's got like a waterproof layer on it so you can like unzip the outer layer and wash it. So I thought that was a little bit nicer because at the minute we're just buying a like hollow fibre cushions and you can't take the sort of outer layer out and wash it so obviously it does start to smell after a while. So yeah I thought that when she gets her new mattress and she gets her new bed that I would treat her to a new throw because yeah she's just my baby i mean please don't like have a go at me in the comments for being weird about like buying new stuff for my dog like my mum was all ready to give her like an old blanket which she probably will but i just wanted to get her a nice like blanket and yeah i saw this one and i just thought it was really cute you might think i'm a, a weird like yeah weird dog person but I love my dog to bits and yeah, she's 15 so I want her to have a comfy bed. So I saw this, it was only £5. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have spent any more than a tenner on, on a blanket for her anyway. Because she is a dog at the end of the day. I love her to bits and she's my world but she is a dog. So yeah, but I really, really liked that it had this sort of um, like fluffy, what is it? Is it like sheepskin? something like that um it it says it's a sherpa throw so it's basically got like woodland like cartoon woodland animals on it and it's a really nice pale blue color and the blanket that my mum the teddy blanket that my mum was going to give her is a light blue as well so even if she does end up having my mum's old teddy blanket she's got one to match as well so i just thought that was so cute so i'm gonna wrap that up for her for christmas because it's christmas next week yeah that's crazy like 10 days and it'll be christmas so i'm gonna wrap this up for christmas so she can have it with her new bed so hopefully she likes that and it's really warm and, fo and cozy so i don't actually know how big it is i mean it does say the measurements on it but hopefully it isn't too small so she can like wrap herself up in it because kita loves to like just wrap herself up in the blanket so yeah i got a new blanket for her because she's 15 and she's my little baby so i love her so that is for keita's christmas as well so oh my god did you manage to watch that entire video without turning off that i think is probably the biggest b&m haul i've ever done i can't wait to see how much footage i've got and edit it all together and make a video hopefully i, I think it'll end up being like an hour long like oh jesus christ but yes i know everybody loves a b&m haul so can't complain at that so yeah connor was probably wondering where i am because we are needing to go to his mum and dad's shortly so i think it's probably near five o'clock now so yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna leave all this on the bed and just sort it when i get back because oh i mean if you could see what's behind me right now at the side of me right now you you just you'd scream so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I hope you have a great rest of your week and weekend. Actually, one thing I didn't manage to get, which I'm really, really sad about, is a gingerbread house. Hopefully I'm able to get one from somewhere. I just don't know where. Hopefully I can get one from Morrison's or somewhere. But I would really, really like to do one towards the end of this week and upload it because I really want... To, to, I really want to make a gingerbread house video like I want to get one of the making kits so hopefully I can get hold of one of those because unfortunately they didn't have any in B&M which I thought they would but oh well so hopefully I can get hold of one of those and I will upload that at some point at, towards the end of this week and yeah I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stand up and walk about because I think I've got dead leg now <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy enjoyed this video i hope you have a great rest of your week and weekend 
If I don't see you before, have an amazing Christmas. I probably will see you before because I do plan on filming a video at the end of this week, but we'll just see. So yeah, sending lots and lots and lots of love to everyone who watches my videos and yeah, just thank you for all your love and support. It means so much to me. And yeah, I shall see you soon in my next video. Love you lots, guys.